Welcome to Exam Rabbit Insights. Attention! Exam Rabbit Insights presents you the most repeated actual exam questions that every student must face in their actual exam. Exam Rabbit Insights guarantee 99% similarity of these questions appearing in actual exam. We are proud of our fantastic track record in helping students achieve top marks. Contact Exam Rabbit Help to get your exam done with guaranteed a plus score. We have a team of tutors and experts to assist you in by passing your proctored softwares and acing your exam. In this video, we are presenting the most repeated CompShe Plus Certification Exam Core 2 actual exam questions with answers. You must watch all these questions to get ready to counter these questions in your exam. Question number one. A technician found that an employee is mining cryptocurrency on a work desktop. The company has decided that this action violates its guidelines. Which of the following should be updated to reflect this new requirement? Option A, MDM. Option B, EULA. Option C, IRP. Option D, AU. Explanation. AUP is the correct because the AUP defines the acceptable and unacceptable use of company resources. To reflect the new requirement prohibiting cryptocurrency mining, the AUP should be updated to include this restriction. Question number two. Which of the following is an example of MFA? Option A, fingerprint scan and retina scan. Option B, password and PIN. Option C, username and password. Option D, smart card and password. Explanation. Smart card and password is the correct answer because multi-factor authentication, MFA, requires two or more different types of authentication factors. A smart card is something you have, possession factor, and a password is something you know, knowledge factor, meeting the criteria for MFA. Question number three. A user reports a PC is running slowly. The technician suspects it has a badly fragmented hard drive. Which of the following tools should the technician use? Option A, Restman X. Option B, MS, Config X. Option C, Defergy X. Option D, and Info32. X, Explanation, Defergy X is the correct answer because this is the disk defragmenter tool used to analyze and defragment hard drives, which can help improve performance if the drive is fragmented. Question number four. Which of the following operating systems would most likely be used to run the inventory management system at a factory? Option A, Windows. Option B, Chrome OS. Option C, Android. Option D, iOS. Explanation. Windows is the correct answer because Windows is a widely used operating system in industrial and business environments, including factories, where it supports inventory management systems and other enterprise applications due to its compatibility, flexibility, and wide range of software support. Question number five. A company has just refreshed several desktop PCs. The hard drives contain PII. Which of the following is the best method to dispose of the drives? Option A, drilling. Option B, degaussing. Option C, low-level formatting. Option D, erasing slash wiping. Explanation. Degaussing is the correct answer because degaussing uses a strong magnetic field to completely erase all data on a hard drive, ensuring that sensitive information, such as PII, cannot be recovered. This is a highly effective method for securely disposing of drives containing confidential data. Question number six. A technician successfully removed malicious software from an infected computer after ruining updates and scheduled scans to mitigate future risks. Which of the following should the technician do next? Option A, educate the end user on best practices for security. Option B, quarantine the host in the antivirus system. Option C, investigate how the system was infected with malware. Option D, create a system restore point. Explanation, educate the end user on best practices for security is the correct answer because after removing the malware and setting up preventive measures, it is important to inform the user on how to avoid future infections by following proper security practices, such as safe browsing habits and recognizing phishing attempts. This helps reduce the likelihood of reinfection. Question number seven. A user's iPhone was permanently locked after several failed login attempts. Which of the following authentication methods are needed to restore access, applications, and data to the device? Option A, fingerprint and pattern. Option B, Facial recognition and PIN code. Option C. 
primary account, and password. Option D, recovery contact and recovery key. Explanation, primary account and password is the correct answer because to restore access to a locked iPhone and recover data, the user typically needs to log in with their Apple ID, primary account, and password, which are used to authenticate and restore applications and data from iCloud or backup services. Question number eight. Which of the following is the most cost-effective version of Windows 10 that allows remote access through remote desktop? Option A, Home. Option B, Pro for workstations. Option C, Enterprise. Option D, Pro. Explanation, Pro is the correct answer because Windows 10 Pro includes the remote desktop feature, allowing remote access, and is more cost-effective than the Enterprise or Pro for workstations editions while still providing advanced features not available in the home edition. Question number nine. A laptop user is visually impaired and requires a different cursor color. Which of the following OS utilities is used to change the color of the cursor? Option A, keyboard. Option B, touchpad. Option C, ease of access center. Option D, display settings. Explanation, ease of access center is the correct answer because this utility in the operating system is specifically designed to help users with disabilities, including visual impairments. It allows changes to be made to the cursor's appearance, such as color and size, to improve visibility. Question number 10. A remote user is experiencing issues with Outlook settings and asks a technician to review the settings. Which of the following can the technician use to access the user's computer remotely? Option A, VPN. Option B, RD. Option C, RNM. Option D, SSH. Explanation, RNM is the correct answer because RNM tools are specifically designed for technicians to remotely access, monitor, and manage user systems. They allow the technician to troubleshoot issues like Outlook settings without being physically present at the user's computer.